Right then, are you ready for the last example of the differential equations pack? So you know this is just going to be so ridiculously hard, it is just daft. So let's have a look at it then. So we've got a cylinder, cylindrical water tank. The diameter is 6. Water's flowing into the tank at a constant rate of 0.48 metres cubed per minute. Look at the units there. It's volume over time. So that's dV by dt. Oops, you see that? So you've got it flowing in. So dV by dt. So it's going in at 0.48 pi. And then it says uh, there's a tap at T at the bottom of the ta tank. The tap is open and water's leaving at 0.06 pi h meters cubed. So you've got it coming out. Uh, so it's like minus because it's coming out, isn't it? Pi h. But that's also volume over time. So that's also dv by dt. Checking all the units. It's in meters, so my meters cubed is fine. It tells me somewhere t is in minutes, so then the units are all fine. Right, so we've got to show that. We've got to get this equation out now. But inf all the information I've got is about the volume. So the only info is about the volume. So that's dv by dt. And if you think the change in volume will be what's going in, take away and what's going out. So intake out. So my dv by dt will be the 0.48 pi minus the 0.6 pi h. Right, that's where we're at so far. Look at this though. This is height with time. I've got volume with time. I've got volume with time, but need height with time. I need to change this dv by dt somehow, or I need to find dh by dt anyway. So if I look at dh by dt, if I think about the chain rule, is dh over something by something over dt. And if I use dv here, I've got that, but I need something, so that's okay, but I need something that links volume of a cylinder with height. So I need an equation Uh, as v as a function of height and luckily I kind of know that don't I because my volume would be pi r squared h so I know that my volume is pi r squared h where the diameter was oops, the diameter was 6 so my radius is 3 So my volume is pi times 3 squared h. So, oh, hang on, don't want to differentiate it just yet. Get carried away with myself. So v is 9 pi h dv by dh is 9 pi. I want dh by dv, so that's 1 over it. So this little bit now, I've worked it out. It's going to be 1 over 9 pi because I want dh by dv. Time's running out, so I'll just try and write this little bit down then. So dh by dt is 1 over 9 pi times by the dv by dt, which is what I had just up there, which is 0.48 pi minus 0.6 pi h. I'm on 4 minutes 40, I'm going to stop there uh, and keep on going after that.